Okay, now we're on the offensive side of the locker room. The offense, again, is broken up into tribes. You put your offensive line here, your big men, you put your running backs over here. Why? Because these two need to talk. The line needs to tell the running backs about the holes that they can open up. The running backs need to tell the linemen what they see. So these two groups are sitting next to each other and they get along. Okay, They're very close. Down in this part, the receivers are over here and the quarterbacks are right here. The reason why they're next together is they need to talk. The quarterbacks need to see about what's open, and the receivers are all discussing who they can beat. They're discussing it among themselves, they're discussing it with the quarterbacks, and they're putting a strategy. Now notice there is a separation here between the receivers and running backs. Those two groups you don't spend a lot of time together. The reason why? Two different creatures. Why don't you put them together? Because they're not interested in talking to each other. Why? Because the receivers want you to throw the ball to them. The running backs want to carry the ball. Between these two groups, the egos are huge, mammoth, okay? It's all about them. Now watch this. You want them to be that way because they have to be wired with this ego and testosterone and fearlessness because they're stepping on the field carrying a ball and on the other side, there's 11 men that are paid hundreds of millions of dollars to beat the snot out of them and to take it away. On the next video, I'm going to talk about what happens in the coach's room, stuff you will not believe. All this happens in 12 minutes.